everyone, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> this is going to be my long awaited and highly requested skincare video. I've had so many people DM me asking me what I use for my skincare routine. So I have so much to pack into one video and I don't wanna make it extremely long. As I mentioned in my last video, I don't wanna say that something is completely right or completely wrong because everybody's skincare routine is going to be different. What works for me just might not work for you. I have combination skin, which means that I get oily in certain areas like my forehead, my nose, and my chin and sometimes even my cheeks right here and then the rest of my skin can get super dry that being said here's the order that works for me oh and I should mention this is my morning routine now the first step for me is going to be a cleanser this one here is the origins checks and balances it's a very frothy face wash I actually quite like it it's almost out as you can tell but it lasts so long this was a limited edition one I got probably like eight months ago and I'm just now barely running out I mainly like to use this one at the end of the day after wearing a full face of makeup once I remove it with a makeup melting balm, I like to go in with this one because I feel like it really removes all of that makeup. My other favorite face wash is this one by The Inky List. It's a salicylic acid cleanser, so I think it's a really nice way to start the day. It also says that you can use it in other areas than your face, such as your back or your chest. This one is really lightweight, very clean, super inexpensive and affordable. Since it's morning, I'm going to go ahead and use this one from The Inky List. I guess that is a tiny bit frothy. Before moving on from the cleansers, I just wanted to quickly mention this new Neutrogena Skin Balancing Gel Cleanser. Because I'm now a Neutrogena partner, they did send this over to me. I've yet to try it, which is why I didn't want to talk much about it. But on their website, it does have a whole quiz you can take that shows you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. They knew I have combination skin, which is why they sent this one to me. And it has 2% polyhydroxy acid. PHAs are really good for breaking the exterior of your skin. It's kind of like a BA where it's a very good skin exfoliant like a chemical peel however apparently PHAs are actually very good for sensitive skin they also have a clay based one for oily skin and then a milky based one for dry skin which is really neat okay so I went ahead and moved over to my studio just because that's where the rest of my serums are the second step for me is an exfoliant there are actually two different types or at least two that I know of there's gonna be a liquid exfoliant which is something like this this is polish choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant or there's also the physical exfoliants like the face wash that have the microbeads in them or like coffee grounds things like that I personally like using a liquid exfoliant I feel like I've seen way more improvement in my skin overall it's definitely cleared my pores and helped with my uneven skin tone I also just feel like it's a lot less harsh on the face as opposed to the other ones but I mean you can use what works for you I just take a little cotton pad apply a little bit Another thing to note with exfoliants, you don't have to use them every day just because they can be a little bit much for sensitive skin especially. But basically what this is doing is unclogging and shrinking any enlarged pores. And as I said earlier, it smooths and evens out your skin tone as well. It's super lightweight, there's no scent to it at all. I love Paula's Choice products. I will say they are a little bit on the pricier side in comparison to all the other products I use. But if you're gonna splurge on anything, it has to be this. Like ever since I got this, it's an absolute staple in my skincare routine. Ooh, I almost forgot my toner. So this is not really a necessary step. I've read that you don't really need a toner. It kind of just depends on your skin. And I honestly don't use mine very often. However, I do love this Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Treatment. Because an exfoliant can dry out your skin, it's nice to follow up with a toner just to kind of bring your pH levels and your face back to life. In other words, give some hydration to it. So I just take another one of those cotton pads. I love the way this smells. Again, this is a pricier item. Um, so I would say if you're gonna pick one or the other, definitely get the chemical exfoliant. Um, but if you can afford both, get both. <laughs> also, I've noticed it's a little bit up in the air as to whether or not exfoliant or toner comes first. Since exfoliant can be drying to the skin, I use the toner afterward, but it's really completely up to you however you want to go about it. Next step is... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Next step is serums. Now, I know this looks like a lot and you're like, wait, what just happened? But this is honestly the easiest step. You really only need like a pea-sized amount of each of them and you're just massaging it into your face and it feels super nice. These are all from The Ordinary. I am obsessed with The Ordinary. I think it is an amazing, amazing skincare brand. Not only because it actually shows efficient results on your skin, but because of how affordable it is. So I like to start out with this one because it's a brightening serum with vitamin C. 
A lot of people forget their neck when they're doing their facial skincare routine and honestly the neck is just as important. It's kind of like when you brush your teeth, when people don't floss, that's that's like the same. It's like literally half of you, you know what I mean? Like if you're not flossing, then you're not really cleaning fully. I feel like the same with your face, right? It's like, imagine you do all of this beautiful skincare for your face and it looks so great. And then you see the neck and it's like, I follow up that one with this niacinamide and zinc. Niacinamide is a must because it supports your skin's barrier, which means it's improving its resiliency. And it also is said to make your pores appear smaller. I do a little bit more than a pea size. Don't come for me. Honestly, Massaging these serums into your skin, or an even moisturizer once I get to that step, is really, really important. And I think it's beneficial for you not only because of the products you're obviously putting on your skin. The way I see it is like massaging love into your skin. Like if you're looking in the mirror, which obviously I'm not right now because I'm looking into the camera. Hi. When you're normally looking into the mirror doing this, you can kind of like say affirmations to yourself and be like, I look beautiful, I am beautiful. So then it's a win-win. You're improving your skin on the outside, but then you're also giving back to yourself on the inside with those affirmations. Next up, we have our hyaluronic acid, baby. Hyaluronic acid is incredible. If you didn't know, it's actually something that already naturally occurs in your body. Adding more directly to your skin will physically allow it to attract and hold on to moisture in your skin. Cells. That's like mind blowing. Thus, this makes your skin appear extremely hydrated. AKA, that means this is very good for people with dry skin. If you have oily skin, you could definitely still use this. As I said before, I have combination skin and I'm still putting it all over my face. But I think that if you have very oily skin, you could go ahead and just apply it directly in dry areas. Another thing to know about hyaluronic acid is because since it does bring moisture to your skin cells, it's gonna reduce the appearance of fine lines in your skin. Speaking of fine lines, I go ahead and end my serum with this one right here. In our Geyerline solution, it's supposed to target the appearance of fine lines. This is a very, very thin serum. So I really only apply it into areas that I have fine lines. I don't have to put it all over the entire face. Definitely have some lines up here. Hmm. Next step is a moisturizer. Bonus points if you can get your hands on a moisturizer that has an SPF in there already, such as this amazing e.l.f. product right here. So something to know is that I've already been obsessed with their Holy Hydration face cream for quite some time. However, they just started including the SPF in there and I was over the moon. I was so happy. But I actually still continue to buy both because I use this one in the morning and then this one at night since I'm not gonna have the sun in my dreams. Anywho, a little goes a long way. It is a very thick formula, unscented. Well, it smells a teensy bit like sunscreen. There's also hyaluronic acid in this one as well. So let's continue on with those daily affirmations. Well, first I like to give gratitude really. Thank you for another day. Forgot to add this to the moisturizer because I actually don't normally use it in the daytime. I was going to do it for the video, but I forgot because it's not a normal part of my routine. What this is, is 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary as well. Normally what I'll do at night is take just about as much moisturizer as I just use on the face and put it into my hand. And then I'll go ahead and just have a few drops of oil added into the moisturizer mix it up together and apply it to the face because it keeps it very hydrated. Then I have this Laneige, Laneige, I'm, I'm really not sure how to say that, sorry. Lip sleeping mask. It's obviously not nighttime, as I've said that 5,000 times. Just for the sake of applying it, I'm just gonna apply it for you just so you can see. You really don't need a lot. If you have smaller lips like me, then you really don't need a lot and it'll last you a long time. I actually just got this in the mail last month because it was part of a birthday gift from, from Sephora. Shout out Sephora, thanks girl. I really, 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 really like it. They have so many other different flavors. I mean, <laughs> not flavors. I mean, maybe. But they have so many other different scents and, um, or would it be flavors? 
I don't really know. They have a bunch of different ones. They have a new peppermint one for the holiday season and I really want to try it out. All right, and now I'm wrapping it up here with an actual sunscreen because I don't think people really realize just how much sunscreen you need, especially when you're going outside directly in the sun. Or even not the sun, like even when it's overcast, those rays are still coming through. So here we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen. This has an SPF 50, which I really, really like. I think that SPF 30 and above is pretty good, but SPF 50, you're definitely getting the job done. This has like a, it's, I guess maybe to some people it smells like sunscreen. It, it doesn't have that traditional sunscreen smell to me. I really like the way it smells. I don't know, I'm, I'm weird. As you can see, no white overcast. Looking good, like I should. I love it. A little goes a long way. Pricey product. But what is money when it comes to skincare? Uh. All right, well that's it for my skincare routine. I'll go ahead and list all these products below, that way you can check them out for yourself. Something to add is that for my nighttime routine, I probably wouldn't do the exfoliant again. I think twice in one day is entirely too much. Probably the only thing I would change is like I said, I don't use the SPF sunscreen at night. I do add the rosehip seed oil, and sometimes I do add also retinol. Retinol can be kind of a lot for sensitive skin, so I would definitely read into it, that way you don't buy a product that has way too much for you. I personally don't use it on a daily basis. I also, if you're using retinol, you definitely should be using sunscreen since it does allow your skin to become more sensitive. Other than that, the nighttime routine is basically the same. But again, as I said earlier, whatever works for me might not work for you. I just wanted to share this with you all since it might help somebody. If you have any other questions, definitely feel free to ask me. And remember, skincare is self-care. Bye! I also feel like it's less harsh on... Less... Less harsh. <laughs> <laughs> My humor is broken. I just wanted to share this with you all since it ha ha. <laughs> Alright, the next step we have the Morse Morsh Morsh Smorgasbord. It's gonna feel so good the rest of the day. The rest of the day. Until it's night time and then I do it all over again and then i wake up a goddess with clean skin